So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my Team of the Week 32 predictions. Um, the upcoming Team of the Week is looking decent to be honest, so I hope you've all done pretty well in your weekend league games. Um, I really don't have too much to say to be honest, so uh, before we get into things, if you guys could leave a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so and uh, also make sure you give that notification bell a click as well as that way every time I upload you will receive a notification. And um, finally, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform in the upcoming team of the week. So, that's all the intro stuff done, now let's get into things. But uh, before we get into my 23-man prediction for the upcoming team of the week, let's quickly talk about some players who potentially could feature in the upcoming team of the week, but haven't made it in to my team of the week prediction. So, let me put my notes. We have Angel Mena, who scored twice in a 5-2 win for his side. Um, Lucas Digny got himself a goal in Everton's 4-0 win against Manchester United. Martin Odegaard got three assists in a 4-1 win for his side. Philip Max scored twice in a win for his team. And Al Shari got himself a hat-trick in a 5-1 win for his team. Santi Cazorla put in a pretty good performance for his side. He got an assist and he also got a pretty good match rating. Gini Wijnaldum got a goal in Liverpool's win against Cardiff. And finally, um, Petagna got himself two goals and an assist and an eight match rating on Gazeta in a win for Spal. It was really hard to leave him out, to be honest, but um, I had to do so in the end. Anyway, guys, those are the potential informs. Let's now get into my 23-man prediction for Team of the Week 32. Okay, so let's get into things. Here are the goalkeepers I have gone for this week. Over on the left is Manchester City's Everton, and over on the right is a man named Samba. We'll talk about Edison first. He made four saves, and he also got a good match rating in Manchester City's 1-0 win against Tottenham. Obviously, this was a pretty big game in the title race, and Edison made some good stops in this match, so he could pick up his first in form of FIFA 19. Over on the right side of the page is a goalkeeper who should 100% be in the upcoming team of the week and I will be very shocked if he's not included. Samba made 8 saves in a 1-0 win for his side against Nice. He got a 9 match rating on Le Keep, which is huge and he also saved the penalty in this match. So uh, yeah, I do think it's really likely that Samba features in team week 32 and I will be very shocked if he is not included. On the first page of defenders, we have a couple of wingbacks, and we've also got um, a Nicolas Sule, the Bayern Munich centre-back. He got himself a goal in a 1-0 win for Bayern Munich against Wolfsburg. A goal and a clean sheet could be enough to see him pick up his first in form of FIFA 19. In the middle of the page is um, Torino's Ansaldi. Now, he played in a right wing-back role, and he got himself the only goal in a 1-0 win against Genoa. He also got a 7.5 match rating on Gazetta, and that could be enough to see him feature in the upcoming team of the week. Uh, the final player on this page is of course a potential inform Alexandro. Now he got himself a goal in Juventus's 2-1 win against Fiorentina. Now I've got to be honest he didn't get a great match rating so I'm not very confident in Alexandro featuring in the upcoming team of the week so do bear that in mind if you're planning on investing in his headliners card. It's not a guarantee, it's not very likely that Sandro will feature in the upcoming team of the week but he could. My reason for including him is not just because he scored, it's also because Juventus won the league this week and um, because they won the league I feel like they'll have a player featuring in the upcoming team of the week. The next page features three players who, I won't lie, I'm not that confident about featuring in the upcoming team of the week, but nonetheless, I have gone for all three of them. Let me explain why. Um, so, over on the left, we have Valencia winger Guides. He got himself two goals in a 2-1 win against Real Batiste. Got a decent match rating, and he could see himself uh, getting in form later in the week. In the middle of the page is Diego Carlos. He got himself a goal in a 3-2 win for his side against PSG. Now, PSG rarely lose in Ligue 1, so uh, maybe Nante could pick up an inform this week. Um, this guy got one of the goals, but he did concede twice, so that's why I'm unsure about him featuring, but he did get a good match rating and also a very high rating from the keep, so I've gone for him. Anyway, the third and final player on this page is uh, Halstenberg. He got himself two goals in a 2-1 win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. One of the goals was a penalty, but two goals from a defender could be enough to see him pick up an inform this week. 
We're now going to move on from the defenders completely and let's talk about some more attacking players. Over on the left is Tigres um, Zalarian. He got himself two goals and an assist in a free all draw. Now the game ended as a draw but this kid had a hand in every goal his side scored in this game and he also got himself a very high match rating and that's why I've opted to include him. In the middle of the page is Christian Benteke. He got himself a goal and an assist in a free to win against Arsenal. As you can imagine... I don't want to talk about this one too much. So let's move on quickly to Endoy, who got himself two goals in a 3-0 win for his side against the team who are second place in their division. So a pretty big win for FC Copenhagen this week. On the next page, we have three pretty good-looking uh, midfielder cards, if you ask me. We'll first talk about Auer. He got himself two assists in a 2-1 win for Lyon against Angers. He also got an eight on the keep, so that's why I've opted to include him in my predictions this week. Now, obviously, this guy does have a future stars card, which is really freaking good. So um, an informed version of him won't be that great. But uh, nonetheless, he should be featuring in Team of the Week 32. Um, in the middle of the page is Gilfie Sigerson. This guy got himself a goal and an assist in Everton's 4-0 win against Manchester United. He was also the man of the match in this game, so I think it's very likely that Sigerson will feature in the Team of the Week on Wednesday. And should he be selected for the upcoming Team of the Week, he is going to get a pretty amazing looking inform. Like, look at the card in the middle of the page right now. I've just done generic upgrades like I normally do. That card could be even better come Wednesday, so uh, keep an eye out for another informed Sigerson. Uh, the final player on this page is Alex Teixeira. He got himself two goals in a 5-1 win for him si his side, sorry, and uh, he also got a very good match rating, so we could be seeing an attacking midfielder Teixeira in Team of the Week 32. Moving on to some strikers now. On the left side of the page, we have Vitesse's striker, Linson. He got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win for his side. He was also uh, the player of the week for his division, and he also got a 10 match rating, so... Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty likely that he's going to get an inform this week. And it's about time he got one as well because uh, he's put in some pretty big performances this season. Uh, in the middle of the page is Richter. He got himself two goals and an assist in a huge 6-0 win for his side against Stuttgart. Um, originally, this guy is a winger, but I believe he played as a centre forward slash striker this week. So uh, could be getting a decent, cheapish looking inform. Um, and he's probably going to feature in all your red picks on Thursday. Moving on to Ayose Perez. He got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win for Newcastle against Southampton. Um, he's guaranteed a spot in the upcoming team of the week. I will be very shocked if he doesn't feature on Wednesday. Um, yeah, Ayose Perez getting an inform on Wednesday. Look out for that. Moving on to the penultimate page, we've actually got some pretty good looking cards on this slide. Um, over on the left is Hamdala. Now this guy got himself two goals and three assists in a 5-0 win for his side. Um, yeah, look, he was involved in five goals. It is impossible to leave this guy out of my predictions this week. And should he get another inform on Wednesday... That card's going to be amazing. It's going to have something like 90 and 91 shooting, um, good pace, good dribbling, good physicals. It's just going to be an awesome card, and it potentially could be a very effective, cheap super sub option. So look out for uh, another inform Hamdala. In the middle of the page is Roy Krishna. He could get himself a second inform this week. He scored a hat-trick in a 3-2 win for his side, the Wellington Phoenix, against Melbourne. Finally, on the end of this page is Benzema. He could get an inform as well. He got himself a hat-trick in a 3-0 win against Atletico Bilbao. And now we arrive on the final page of my prediction this week, which features some pretty good-looking potential informs. Over on the left, we have Carlinhos. He got himself two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win for his side against FC Zurich. He also got a decent match rating, and that's why I've opted to include him. In the middle of the page is a potential another Special card for Marco Royce. He's had so many special cards this year and he could get another one on Wednesday. He got himself a goal and two assists in a 4-0 win for Brucci Dortmund against Freiburg. So uh, maybe, just maybe, Marco Royce's headliner card could also be getting an upgrade this week. I'm not that confident in Royce featuring, to be honest, um, but uh, hopefully he does. The final player on this page is Kylian Mbappe. This guy got himself a hat-trick in a win for PSG against Monaco. And, um, yeah, that card's going to be pretty insane. It really, really is. It's probably going to be the same rating as the Foot Birthday card because, obviously, the Foot Birthday card isn't a performance-based special card. Um, but, nonetheless, a striker, 91-rated Mbappe, 
that card's going to be freaking awesome. So look out for that on Wednesday. Hopefully some of you can see um, either a red Mbappe or a red Royce in uh, your rewards on Thursday. So those are my predictions for the upcoming team of the week. Let me know your thoughts on them in the comment section down below. If you guys could leave a like on the video as well, that would be greatly appreciated as per usual. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you very much for watching and as always, I will catch you all in the next one.